A number of us have begun using Telestream ScreenFlow for screencasts here on Gear Diary. I've used a number of different screen capture uh, applications and utilities, and quite frankly, when I tried a demo of ScreenFlow, I was blown away and within a few seconds realized that I'd found the type of application that I'd been looking for. Uh, the application's features are really quite extraordinary. Um, it records everything on the screen, and what's really fantastic, well, you know what, the best way for me to really explain it is to actually show you their own uh, tutorial video. So let's take a quick look at it. Oh, by the way, this is being recorded using ScreenFlow, of course. Welcome to ScreenFlow, a screencasting studio application. This movie was created, edited, and exported using only ScreenFlow. Here's how to configure ScreenFlow to record everything. Launch ScreenFlow, record the computer audio, choose a microphone, select your camera, and you're ready to go. ScreenFlow's powerful recording subsystem can handle full screen HD video. Computer audio and modern 3D game capture are also no problem for ScreenFlow. And when it's time to get to work, you can create perfect keynote or PowerPoint video presentations using ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow captures everything. Just start ScreenFlow, begin your presentation, and then speak your message directly to your viewers. Never before has it been this easy to create a video of your keynote or PowerPoint presentation. When you're done recording your screencast, it's time to edit. The instant you're done recording, you can scrub through your presentation. Although there are lots of features we could show you, we only have time for one. Notice the Finder window here in our recording. Well, ScreenFlow knows exactly where it is, so we can add a callout for the foreground window and adjust the opacity. We can even blur the background. And something you've never seen before, you can zoom the foreground window. We'll add a slight animation, and here's the final result. Only in ScreenFlow. As you can see, it's really quite amazing, uh, and it makes recording the screen really simple. Now I'm going to stop for a second and start re-recording, uh, adding on this video to the other video. So let's take a look. Here now is a shot of the video that I just recorded. One of the really nice things about ScreenFlow that you see immediately when you begin using it is that you don't have to wait for the video to export after you have hit uh, stop recording it immediately uh, enables you to see the video that you just recorded so you can get to work right away. Now, the other issue is the fact that I like the fact that the browser is here, but I really don't like the fact that the, the background is here getting in the way. It's really quite easy to deal with that. You just click Resize Canvas, and you draw the canvas in, like so. I was having a little bit of trouble earlier doing it in the corner over here, I'm not sure why. So we're just going to do as much as we can do. And then if I click Apply, it leaves me just with the screen that I was trying to record. It's a nice feature that allows you to get a really clean perspective on what you're recording. Uh, one of the great things about ScreenFlow is you don't have to select the area where you're going to be capturing video. It actually captures the entire screen if we go back to the entire screen, and then all you have to do is take the video and edit it, the window that you're using after the fact. That makes things a whole lot easier because you don't miss action on the screen while you're recording. You def by default record everything. The other thing that you can do is you can add text boxes into it, but we're going to actually record this recording of the recording in order to do that. Here now is a video of the video. So this is the, on the screen right now, you're seeing the second part of the presentation. And what I can do here, first of all, if I want to get rid of other things, if I want to get rid of the background again, it's the same routine where I go in, I get rid of the background, and there you go. You have the screen only. Um, 
In addition, I actually want to put a text box here. So putting a text box in couldn't be easier either. Uh, click Insert, Text Box, move the text box where you want it. I think we're going to put it right about there. I'm going to type in uh, second part. Uh, we're going to call it part two. Uh, I want to make the text smaller, obviously, because it's dominating everything right now. That's a little too small. So we're going to go with 48. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to take the text box, move it right there. I then want it to extend. If I go down here to, toward the bottom, I want it to actually extend for a good part of the video. And now, when I play the video, I get the following. Here now is a shot of the video that I just recorded. One of the really nice things about ScreenFlow that you see immediately when you begin using it is that you don't have to wait for the video to export after you have hit uh, stop recording. So you can put in text along the way and the process could be easier. There's a, a tremendous amount uh, of flexibility with ScreenFlow, uh, a lot more than what I've been showing in this brief video look. Uh, the point being, uh, besides anything else, if you're looking to do a screen capture uh, video, I can't imagine at this point uh, an easier way, a cleaner way, a way that allows you to get what you need when you need it on the screen and then to quickly export it and share it with the world. Uh, I'm now going to take the three parts of the video, put them together, and I'll put it up on the site, which is actually what you've just been reading or, and watching.